So I think it's fair to say that virtually everyone watching or listening to this has one of these in a draw somewhere, just a whole bunch, wide selection. Uh, this of course is a USB charger. Um, we have like USB chargers for iPad, iPhone, uh, Apple devices, Android devices, large, large fast chargers, y you know what I mean. And everyone who uses one of these things all share this problem at least once. If not, it's eventually going to happen to you. Uh, you see, these things sprout legs and they disappear and they walk away. Um, you'd plug them into the outlet, plug the cord in, plug your device in, charge it up one day, pff, this thing is gone. Well, this company right here, uh, LockSocket, they might have developed a solution for you. And um, yeah, this right here, this is uh, LockSocket's charger lock. Huh, we'll go and check it out. So let's go. Hey, what's up folks? Dolly next year of Competent Gamers. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, if you really like it, do us a favor, hit that like button. Of course, if you really want to support the channel, subscribing to the channel really helps. And if you want to find out when new videos drop, make sure that you hit the subscription bell and make sure the notifications are on. All right, so let's get on with this. So we were contacted by the folks at LockSocket because they wanted to share this with us, um, this very simple yet innovative piece of tech. And you know just how much we're always looking to learn and share about anything, in, any interest in tech that we might come across. Uh, so of course, we want to thank the folks over at LockSocket for just sending us some samples of the charger locks to check out, use, and review. Uh, okay, so this is how we're gonna do this video. Uh, we're gonna unpack like two of these charger locks. Uh, we're gonna show what comes in the packs. Um, we're gonna show you how to put it together. Then we're actually gonna show you one that we have installed, the installation process, how easy it is, and the one that we've been using. Um, and then we'll tell you what we think about it at the end. All right, come on, let's go. Let's see what's in the packets. Okay, folks, so this is what was sent to us. What was sent to us? Uh, grammar, grammar, grammar. What was sent to us, uh, again, from, uh, from LockSocket. Uh, this one here is the charger lock for the iPhone. This one's the one that we actually have in use right now. And um, we've been using, so pretty good. We'll get to that. I'll actually show you the installation of that. We'll put that to the side. But this right here, this is one that we have not opened yet. So you guys get a chance to check out what's inside of it. This one right here is for the iPhone 11 as well as iPad Pro. Know that if you go to their site, you are able to check out the different um, offerings that they have. I think they have one for the the standard iPhone charger lock. Uh, there's one for a fast charger, which is like kind of like the the brick, the USB one, um, a USB C one, I believe. Um, there's also one for the 12 watts and uh, the fast, the fast chargers, like the fast charger pro. Um, there's one for the 12 watts and I believe they do have one for uh, Samsung for a Samsung charger but that's all i've seen um when it comes to that but who knows who knows go on the site go check them out and um yeah anyway see the offering that they have art right, so this is what you would get right here oh i have one also this one i'll show you this one i'll show you also what it is of course all right so let's go ahead this is the back of it essentially that's kind of what we're going to be looking at right there and how it works uh, but let's get riveted so this is what comes in the packet hopefully you can see it here i need one of those cameras that actually is up above shooting down all right so here's what we have we have this right here is what the charger lock looks like very simple right just kind of like a hook the charger sits in here. I know it's not for the right one, but 
it'll give you a good idea. And basically, it sits in there. Oh, again, this is not the one for this one. This then screws into the outlet plate and it comes with two screws on different lengths. So here's the longer, um, we're gonna do this. That's the longer, that's the shorter right there. Uh, but what is interesting about them is they're not standard. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can show you this. They're not your standard screws because you need a Allen key that is provided. They provide the Allen key and the Allen key, boom. So I'm gonna touch a little bit more about what I think about using the Allen key. Um, it's not a standard standard screw. I'm gonna touch a little bit back that with the review at the end of everything. Um, so yeah, that's what comes in the package. Now for this one right here, this one is, as you can see, here's the Allen key. So you'd get an Allen key with it. This one is a little bit bigger, looks a little bit different. And the reason for that is, up oh, there are my screws. The reason for that is this particular one is for, I just have, I'm using one of my power cords for my, like computers. You, you always have, you know, you always have these cords lying around. If you did any bit of computer building, PC building or anything like that, and there's always these cords around. This one is for a three prong plug. And how this would do, still it will screw into the outlet. Um, the only reason I don't have this one installed because a lot of my devices that really use three prong plugs, um, I have it plugged into a, um, a surge protector. So I guess I could plug this, I could screw in the surge protector um, with this, but I just don't. And a lot of wh where I work, it's, tucked away somewhere. Uh, I don't see it as needing to have one of these because it's not in a, any path where anyone's accidentally unplug it. Uh, again, I'm gonna touch a little bit more about what I think about that later with the review. All right, so this thing would just kind of hook in here like that. Just kind of like that. It even has, I, I think the simple, the simplicity of the, the, the design it has a little scoop out section right here, which is for the three prong part right here. So that just sits right in there, just like that. And then this would plug in, it will screw in and it will just hold it secure. So there's not going to be a chance of, you know, someone accidentally pulling this out of the outlet Maybe it's for a device that you really need to make sure it's plugged in all the time. It, I like that. And it's pretty secure. It'll be very secure, very secure. All right, so that's with that. That is for the three prong plugs. All right, so those are the ones that they provided for us. All right, I'm gonna show you how we actually put in, how we plugged in and set up this one right here, which is one of these. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out.
Okay, folks, so as you can see, installation is fairly straightforward, pretty simple. So here's our thoughts on this product. I'm gonna say bottom line, we like it. Again, uh, it's just so simple, the design. I love when we come across um, stuff like this, where you know somebody comes up with a solution to an issue and it turns out to be pretty straightforward. You know what I mean? Um, we could really see where these devices are installed in like an office area or a common area where you have some um, chargers set up and you don't want people walking off with the charger or the cords. Um, we like that there are options uh, on how to install the charger. So for us, you know, the standard outlet will in the middle and then we also have square outlets so you can screw in the top and the bottom. Uh, the plus and the minus. Uh, so the whole Allen key socket screw thing. Uh, it's a plus because it really helps to mitigate, you know, removal of the locks. Somebody can't just come up with a regular screwdriver. Uh, the minus, I think, is since Allen keys aren't really a standard screw or it doesn't have a standard screw head for the Allen key, um, the average person doesn't really have Allen keys laying around. And you, know, you lose that, huh, it's, I, I guess if you lose the Allen key, you can possibly reach out to um, uh, lock socket and you know maybe they have replacements or you just go find the right size and 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 replace it um, like I said it's just not the average the average person have screwdrivers around they have Phillips screwdrivers they have you know flathead screwdrivers just hanging around a house but you know, it's a standard screw anyway that is such a small thing that meh, it's a, okay it's a very small minus. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, ooh, ooh, another, 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 another big plus that I'm really, we're really, really, really into is the fact that boom, right here, it's made in America. Good job, made in the USA. I'm all for that. I'm all supporting that. So, gotta fit the cap. Mm, there we go. Good job with that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, I am pretty excited to see just how they are going to evolve and provide, come up with more variations for this uh, lock socket, uh, charger lock, because they're, I mean, they are a bunch of different sizes, different configurations. We really, I'm really hoping they, they look to expand on that. So that's a, if, if it happens, hey, LockSocket, reach out to us. We'll be happy to review some for y'all and tell us our thoughts. So good job with that. Good job with that. Okay, folks. So that is the end of our unboxing and our review of our, what we thought of LockSockets Charger Locks. Um, again, we love innovative, simple designs. The fact that now we have a way to secure our chargers that way it doesn't just up and walk away or if you have little kids or, or animals in the high traffic area stuff can accidentally yanked out the wall or pulled out so that's actually pretty good i like it it's a solution to a problem that almost everybody has so good job with that kudos all right i'm gonna get out of here you know i love rambling and i'm just gonna say hey if you enjoyed this video do us a favor hit that like button again if you really want to support the channel then obviously subscribing to the channel really really helps make sure you hit the bell and turn on the notifications so you know when a new video is up if this is interesting to you please in the comments section down below let us know how you would use one of these things would you guys use one of these lock sockets now what do you think about it what do you think about it please please talk please conversations talk in the comment section below and i mean i really really believe in this product you know what i think i might do a giveaway and you know because i like i like supporting i like supporting usa made stuff i like that i like that so i'm gonna set up a giveaway so somebody out there can try the product out on us what do you say about that? So stay tuned for that. I'll give you all the deets on that. Hey, this is a reason why you need to subscribe. 
so you know when that video goes live. All right, folks, I'm going to get out of here. Till next time, I'm Silent X. We're confident gamers. Real gamers keep gaming. All right, peace, love. All right, later.